Right, guys, it's me again. This is part two to see if uh, I can fix this machine. If you watch part one, that was the first motherboard that was giving a, a meter fault. So we replaced that and it got rid of the meter fault. Then we put this motherboard in, but for some reason it gave me a 24 volt fault. And it looked like it may have been a dodgy motherboard. So I've just got another motherboard. Motherboard number three, third time lucky. And I've already changed all the DIN switches there. So let's go and see if this one works. I do hope this one works. It's going to make me look really silly on the video. And if this just doesn't work, the only plan left to do is to phone Pete up and get Pete round to fix it for me. But I don't want to do that because I've never heard the last of it. So I'll just pop the wires in here like I did earlier. Doesn't take long. So that needs to go here. Then I need my comms one. Then I need my payout one. Where's my payout one? There it is. Okay, that's all the wires in place. So I've now put the motherboard back in and put all the connections back in place. So let's turn it on. Well, we haven't got a 24 volt problem because the 24 volt lights come on, which is good. It's going through the routine, which is good. I'm hoping this is working because I really don't want to have to phone Pete up and get Pete to come over because then he'll start taking the mickey. So. Let's hope we can fix it without him. All looking good so far. So, we'll go back to the main test like we did said before. We'll try and put a coin in it and see if it works. I'm just watching the startup mode on it. Everything seems to be working at the moment. So I've got a coin here. There we go. Pop the coin in. Oh dear. Cash in meter. So it's giving me exactly the same alarm code as it did before. So it's obviously not a motherboard problem. Because that's exactly the same problem as I had before. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to get Pete to come over and fix it for me. I really, really, really didn't want to do this. But that's the level of my expertise now finished. So I'll just turn it off. So I've turned it off now, guys. So, as I said, it was giving me that problem, and as a general rule, if you change the motherboard, it replaces and fixes the problem. Uh, but it hasn't fixed the problem. So I really don't know what the problem is now. So I'm going to have to go round to Pete with my tail between my legs and say, Pete, can you come over and fix this machine for me, please? And he's really, really going to enjoy this. So that'll be on part three. So I'll see you later, guys. Bye for now.